Welcome to today's Daily Chelsea, your one-stop shop for all things Chelsea related. Uh, my treats today are a granola bar and some green goddess. Uh, this is exactly what I need, uh, feeling slightly ropey on a Monday in a rather grim looking London. Um, you'll notice it's pouring with rain, but we're here. This is the type of dedication that we show to the Chelsea fans and the Chelsea fan channel. Uh, we, like Chelsea last season, we shall not be moved. Um, quite an exciting daily Chelsea ahead. Um, I'm sure a lot of you will have realised that the dream team was complete this weekend. We put it out and we put out the strikers and I think it was pretty much unanimous. I think people generally agreed with the team that we put out. The, the player that seemed to get the most amount of debate, shall we say, was Damien Duff. Damien Duff was selected to be in the Chelsea dream team Premier League era and he played on the left wing. Some people suggested that there were other players in contention. Some people suggested Joe Cole. Uh, obviously, Arjun Robin's name came up quite a lot. I was a key advocate of Damien Duff. And I can give you a quote as to why. Damien Duff was a magnificent football player, we all know that. But in an era where loyalty is sometimes questioned and in a, on a day where Petr Cech is looking like he's going to sign for Arsenal, I'm going to read you something inspiring from the great Damien Duff. And this is why, one of the reasons why he made the dream team. There was one London club in for me and that was Spurs. But when I go to a club, I put my heart and my soul into it. And for the past three years, I've been a Chelsea fan. So I couldn't go to Spurs. It's as simple as that. That is just music to my ears. I couldn't be more passionate about something like that. And for that reason, Damien, I will love you forever. Thank you very much for that. Um, but I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on the Dream Team. So comment, have a look, let us know. Do you agree with the Premier League era Chelsea Dream 11. Let me know what you think. Um, interesting news here, The Sun, it's, it's, it's been reported in a lot of places, but The Sun have led with it. And they've said that Chelsea are, are lining up a 12 million bid for Moussa Dembele from Tottenham. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on this. I've been speaking to a dear friend of mine, a guy called Barnaby Slater. He actually works at Spurred On TV. And he has been singing Dembele's praises. He thinks he's an idiot. He practically said that he's a wonderfully gifted player, but a clown. Um, but I think that given the right sort of guidance, he seems to have all the natural ability and all the, all the key attributes that are required to be a top midfielder in, the, in this country. So if Mourinho can get the right system for him, if Mourinho can coax the performances out of him, all the attributes are there. So this could be a signing that happens and one that, from, at least from what I've heard from some Tottenham fans, this could be a good one. Um, but again, very interested to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Would you like to see Dembele in a Chelsea shirt? Uh, the Daily Telegraph and the Daily Express have both reported that sadly Charlie Austin is going to be a saint. Uh, he's going to join Southampton in the pursuit of first team football. This is understandable and it's a testament to Charlie Austin. I'm very pleased to see players wanting to play football rather than doing a Winston Bogard and sitting on a bench somewhere and coining it in. However, I think that Austin would have got games at Chelsea. I think it's a shame that he has opted to, to go to Southampton because I would love to have seen him playing in the Champions League, particularly with 2016 uh, just around the corner. It would have been lovely for the England's chances to have him playing uh, top, top class football. So it's a shame that we seem to have lost out on him. But apparently the deal hasn't quite gone through. So there's still room for optimism, should we say. Um, where there is no room for optimism, at least according to his agent, is that Chelsea are going to poach Edin Zeko from Manchester City. I am quite pleased that this one isn't going to happen. His, his agent has absolutely rubbish uh, the reports and he's, he's explicitly said that Edin Dzeko will be a Manchester City player next season. I don't think Dzeko is the type of player that we need and I certainly don't like the idea of, um, of him coming in to, to displace Loic Remy. I don't think that he's quite, quite up to the standard of Remy. So I'm pleased that this one isn't going to happen. But would you like to see? What do you make of that? Would you like to see Edin Dzeko in a blue shirt? Or, a darker blue shirt than the one that we're used to seeing them in. Uh, that's all for today. Um, just time to quickly tell you that the Hurricane Skillen is currently on holiday. Here's a nice picture of him. Looks good in his Chelsea retro kit, doesn't he? Uh, I, think he's, I think he's sunning himself in Greece and drinking uh, the, the island that he's on dry. Uh, so he's away this week. So he's going to be coming in to see us on Thursday. So all being well, there'll be a Backpage Blues up for you on Friday. But it's going to be a bit later this week because the boy Skillen is gallivanting around the Greek Isles, so uh, sorry about that. Thank you very much for watching and make sure that you've subscribed if you haven't done it already. Come on you champions. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to get many votes. Um, yeah, in fact, guys, will you do the...